My hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Gore and I am your business nurse from Southeast England. Before we will proceed for the vlog of the day, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel Gordapia TV. So the topic that I will be sharing with you guys is quite a sensitive one. Pinag-isipan ko po talaga siya na maraming beses before ako nag-decide na gawan siya ng video. Pero naisip ko ano ba talaga ang aking purpose kung meron tayong Cordapia TV. So, my main purpose is to fuel motivation among nurses who are struggling to meet the requirements ng NMC. At saka yung mga nangangarap na magtrabaho as a nurse here in the UK, especially the Filipino nurses out there. So, kung sa tingin nyo, itong video na ito is nagmamayabang, please huwag nyo pong isipin na ganun. My main purpose here is to inspire and to fuel motivation. So, hopefully you will perceive this video in a positive way. So, disclaimer po muna tayo. Number one, uulitin ko, the primary purpose of this video is to inspire nurses who are planning to work here in the UK at yung mga nurses na nandito na sa UK. And number two, I am not a financial expert. And number three, other nurses or couple nurses may have more investments and savings than us. So what I'm going to share is our personal achievement na nag-hope na talaga maka-inspire sa inyo. So if you take this video as bragging, mag-skip na lang po muna kayo. Huwag nyo na itong panoorin. Huwag nyo nang tapusin. Panoorin nyo na lang yung ibang videos ko, okay? And huwag nyo kalimutan na mag-subscribe. So story time po muna tayo. So if you have watched my previous vlogs, especially about becoming a UKRN under a tier 2 dependent visa, you would know na pumasok po ako sa UK, hindi pa po ako noon nurse. So I officially became a nurse December 2019. So ngayon, both nurses na po kami mag-asawa. So dumating ako dito year 2017 and we started saving late na po ng year 2017. And then... Um, my initial job was a hotel receptionist. Tapos, eventually, naging senior care ako ng isang care home. And then, yung achieve ko na yung NMC PIN ko, naging nurse na ako December 2019. So, uh, kung ibibase ko sa time na nag-start kami mag-save, sy syempre maliit pa po yung na-save namin kasi nga, um, yung asawa ko lang po yung nurse at that time. Tapos nung naging um, officially nurse na ako, doon na kami nagsimula na makasave ng malaki-laki. So these are our investments for the last 3 years. So nung year 2018, we were able to acquire a residential slash commercial lot. At the moment, pinapa-fence namin siya para maging secured yung area kasi may plano kaming iparent yung lupa muna kasi wala pa kaming budget um, to build a apartment. Kasi ideal siya for apartments. Kasi malapit siya sa school. Saka maganda talaga yung location niya. So, I will share to you a picture of the property. So, noong year 2019, nakakuha kami ng isang commercial lot na may existing na siya na tenant. So, at the moment, kahit wala pa kami sariling building doon, meron na kami passive income. So, our plan for the future is sana pag may enough na kaming ipon, imagawa namin siya ng sarili naming commercial building. In the year 2020, we were able to um, invest in a residential lot, in a residential resort, in a popular um, island in Davao City. So, apart from investing into tangible assets, nag-invest din kami para sa aming sarili. So, we have a life insurance plus investment in the Philippines at meron din kaming life insurance plus critical illness here in the UK. At saka, yung isa din namin na sinisave for now is we invested into lifetime individual savings account or yung ISA towards saving for our future house here in the UK. So, how did we manage to acquire these properties for the last 3 years? So, I have to be honest with you, hindi lang siya plain talagang savings. Nag-loan din po kami. Because we believe there's always a good debt. 
kung mangungutang ka na lang po, it's for a good investment. So, if you may an utang, make sure it's for an investment and not for luho, okay? Before you take out a loan, make sure you are able to pay it at saka na-calculate mo na yung return of investment uh, ng isang property na pinaglunan mo. So, our main source of our investments are our savings. So, ang ginagawa po namin, once we receive our salary, we deduct our monthly bills minus our goal savings for the month. So, usually our goal savings each month is ranging from 2,500 to 3,000 a month. And then, kung ano po yung maiiwan na pera, yun na po yung aming budget for the month for our allowance, like for groceries, for our transport, at kung ano pa yung mga extra na kailangan po sa bahay. So, there's always a gray area when it comes to savings. So, nagbabari po talaga tayo, especially when it comes to salary. May mga iba na may mayroong extra income, may mga side hustle sila. So, there's a big chance na mas malaki yung masisave nila. And, nadidepende yun siya if you are a single person, kung couple kayo, or family kayo nagsisave. So, mas advantage siya. And then, it depends also on your monthly bills or expenses. At especially kung may pinapadalahan ka ng pera sa Pilipinas or you are supporting other family members. So, do not compare your savings with us or with other people. Ang importante po ay makakasave ka kahit pa konti-konti lang monthly. Yun ang mas importante. Save something for your future. Because hindi pa tayo forever nurses sa UK. Diba? Kung ano lang yung kaya i-permit ng Lord na uh, kaya mo magtrabaho dito sa UK, yun lang din yung kaya niyang ibigay. So, you always have to have a plan B. So, as an OFW, iba-iba po tayo ng goal sa buhay kung saan patungo yung ating pinaghirapan. So, as a couple nurses here in the UK, at wala pa naman kami sa dili naming pamilya, our goal is to invest into income generating um, properties. So, wala pa kami sa dili bahay sa Pilipinas, to be honest, wala pa kami ganyan. Wala kami sarili naming sasakyan kasi hindi pa yun ang aming priority. So, iba-iba tayo ng priority sa buhay. May mga ibang tao na priority nila na magkaroon ng bahay muna at sasakyan kasi yun ang makakatulong um, sa kanila at saka makakapagpasaya sa kanila. But at the moment sa amin, in our personal um, perspective, Eh, ito yung magpapasaya sa amin yung mga income generating na investments please bear in mind while you are saving for your future please do not compromise your health and your happiness so health comes first huwag masyado yung patayan talaga yung pagbabang shifts para lang meron kang ma, um, mapakita na investments in the future diba? Um, always think of yourself and have a work life balance na mention ko yan sa aking previous vlog so hopefully you find this um, video helpful at sa mga nurses siya na nasa Pinas pa or sa ibang bansa na nahihirapan pong pumasa sa mga requirements especially sa English exam my heart is with you alam nyo ba na limang beses ako nag English exam if you have watched my previous videos kaya huwag kayong mag give up never give up, push lang ng push diba? so hindi nyo ito ma-achieve ang inyong UKR and dream kung titigil ka na kahit isang failure pa lang so never give up on your UKR and dream okay? So, sana marami akong na-inspire uh, sa aking ginawang video for today. And kung na-offend kayo or in any way na feeling nyo nagbabrag ako sa video na ito, please don't take it that way. Take it positively. Huwag masyadong nega sa life. Hindi tayo aasenso sa negative na outlook sa buhay. Alright? Thank you very much for watching my video for today. And kung hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe, please do subscribe to my channel and share and spread my channel if possible. I'll see you again in my future vlogs. If you have any questions or suggestions, please don't be shy. Comment down below in the comment section. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you find this content helpful, you can also share this video. I'll see you soon and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye! Thank you.